there's just such a different taste to caribou. It's you can't compare it to moose or seal or anything like that. You, it's just it's so good and you get excited because you can make so many different meals with it. Like caribou meat was, we, I suppose you would call it a staple. We had that every day, you know, almost always every day, caribou meat. I mean, so long as we had caribou meat, we were eating caribou meat. I personally could eat it every day, but getting it cooked every day, some of the dudes started saying, oh, you're going to grow horns, so once you don't know, stop eating caribou meat, so. My wife said to me that she didn't ask me what I wanted for supper. She said, how do you want your caribou meat cooked tonight? <laughs> We'd have it a different way every night, probably. We loved having roast every Sunday, roast caribou with all the vegetables. Like kind of a stew kind of thing with uh, a duff over the pot. The soup was the best I liked. I liked it all now. Fry it. Oh, gee, my mother used to fry it caribou. Holy Jesus. Roast it on the stove. Put a little salt on it and eat it. Best thing in the world, I think. <laughs> the fastest way was probably my favorite way. There is no favorite way anyway at all, as so long as it was cooked. Frozen, dipped in rendered seal fat. Missigal. Uh, another one what we call meat cakes, or a lot of people call them ringals. There is two they're... different stories. It's the ringals and the yeah. meat cakes. Like yeah. they're made different? It's like a pancake that's not sweet. And you put little cubes of caribou in it. You know, in a stir fry. Or we've had it ground up on a pizza before. The back part is tasty. Very tasty. <laughs> you always save the apron, what they call the apron inside. That was like little lumps of fat. That was our candy, because we couldn't get candy. Didn't know what candy was early. The nickel was good too. Nickel. 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 Such a treat. It's just like candy in the wintertime.